You're the biggest refined uh, producer of refined nickel and the biggest producer of palladium. But this is your first year back in about five years at the conference, and it's about the digital economy. Um, you're looking into creating these crypto tokens for the commodities market. Why? No, I need to say that I believe in uh, digital uh, um, technologies because they do not only allow the industrial companies uh, to digitize their operations, their sales, but also uh, tokenize their products or uh, services and to present it, present it to the market in a more uh, efficient way with the lower transaction costs, uh, uh, quicker and um, uh, it also opens an opportunity to collect a big data on the basis of uh, uh, digitalization of our operations, which may help us in the future to improve algorithm, uh, algorithms of our decisions in uh, management, uh, logistics, technology. Has there been interest in this at the forum? I mean, I know the Chinese have a huge delegation, about a thousand, um, along with President Xi. Are they interested in these kind of tokens? Uh, I think that uh, more or less everybody is interested in that in those technologies, but because it concerns everybody. Uh, consumers, uh, industrial companies, uh, governments, and uh, the Chinese investors, Arab investors, uh, and others uh, are very much interested in that. I also uh, had quite a series of uh, uh, conversations with European and American banks and financial uh, companies. I think many people understand that the, that the digitalization they, uh, is some kind of a future of, uh, of economy, and all traditional branches of our economy, they are supposed to move into a new world, a world of, of, of digits. The trade war is dominating headlines. Even here with Xi Jinping here, this immense uncertainty whether or not Beijing and China, uh, Beijing and Washington can come to an agreement. Are you worried about a global trade war considering you have this mass commodities company? Uh, look, being a businessman, I'm more focused on creating things. And the war terminology is something which is uh, uh, which is not uh, making me excited and of course the sooner it ends uh, with some kind of solution the better have you but felt it though it, not really because i would uh, i would disagree with those who say that commodities are first to suffer because of china issues or growth or whatever i think that technology the exchange of technology that's what uh, suff um, suffers in the first place because in order to achieve achieve good results in this new digital technology, we need to share. We need to share business uh, digital solutions. We need to share intellectual pr property uh, rights. And uh, the way to a new digital world, we can make it only together. And uh, that's why I think that uh, uh, it will end up with a kind of, uh, of uh, solution. I want to ask you about sanctions. You're on the so-called Kremlin list by the U.S. Treasury. People on that list can be personally sanctioned. Are you worried about that? Uh, not really. Uh, I did nothing wrong. Uh, uh, I like your Americans, biggest... I like French, I like British. But your second uh, biggest shareholder, Roussel, was sanctioned. Yeah. Has, that, has that hurt your investor or, you know, no, the way you people view your company at all? about my personal feelings. I'm not very much anxious about that. As to um, Roussel's participation in Norris Nickel, uh, Theoretically, it might create uh, some problems, but it doesn't create it for the time being. And our shareholders' agreement uh, allows us to um, uh, to execute our plans uh, at least until the, uh, it uh, ends up in uh, to, uh, 2023. Which means for our um, short-term and middle-term planning, it doesn't really matter. Are you potentially unsanctionable, given the fact that the U.S. imports a lot of your palladium and you cannot drive an automobile without palladium. Look, I, I hate arguing in the terms of uh, sanctional, unsanctional. I just uh, said that uh, I, I, I do not uh, feel myself as an enemy, enemy to anybody, on one hand. On, on the other hand, we produce many um, products which are really needed by companies all over the world, palladium, nickel, etc. If there are any kind of war, any kind of sanction, it will not benefit anyone in the world. And I just count on a simple logic. It's, uh, uh, we, we do something which uh, people need us to, uh, to do, and we will continue. 
You um, made your, you became one of the first original billionaires under Boris Yeltsin. You've known President Putin for years. His term is up in 2024. Do you think there'll somehow be a change of the Constitution and he'll stay on in power and extend that term? I think that for Russia, uh, Putin is a symbol of stability. And I think people in other countries uh, need to understand that. And uh, um, of course, uh, I would vote for a certain continuity. I do not know how, I'm not a politician, uh, which means that I do not know how to arrange that. But uh, I think that people need to understand that for Russia, stability and uh, a leader who has a great respect from the uh, population is a very important uh, thing.